All aboard. Hello, rock and rollers. Welcome to number 38 Electro Jet Rock Show. We are doing great or not so great. And we're, tonight's going to be about Motley Crue. I'm your humble host, Jet. And I have with me coming to you from Los Angeles, Professor Electro. How's it going, Professor? It's going good. It's going good. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our show. Don't forget to subscribe and share us on social media, on Twitch, and Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Yeah, I got to say, uh, we've gotten uh, the most comments was on uh, Peter Chris video or podcast. Kiss Army in full effect. We've got some really great comments on that. But uh, are you doing this for clapping? Oh, Christ. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk for, for clapping. <laughs> so, uh, Motley Crue, great or not so great? What do you think, Professor? <clears throat> well, you know, <clears throat> again, I have to put my, my own opinions of whether I like them or not aside and ask myself and ask uh, the question, are they great? You have to say, well, yeah, they're great because their success, their longevity. And I'm a big fan of Tommy Lee and Mick Mars. I think they're great, uh, really great musicians, both of them. Tommy Lee especially, just a fantastic power drummer. And Mick Mars is a great guitar player also. I'm less of a fan of Vince Neil. At times, I'm a fan of him. But other times, you know, when he's good, he's great. When he's bad he sounds like screech on saved by the bell and uh nikki six i don't know enough about his bass playing i mean it just seems somewhat simplistic to me i guess it fits the band though i know he's a great uh band leader songwriter but mm, is he great is he a great bass player nah, you know can't what say. you know what professor the funny thing is he is now a great bass player he actually uh, I think about 10, 15, 20 years ago, um, I'm sure somebody knows, or Six has an interview talking about it, he, t- he started taking bass lessons. And uh, Bob Rock showed up for, I think it was for the Dr. Feelgood sessions, and it was like, holy crap, what happened to you, man? You're, you, st- and, uh, you sound phenomenal on the bass, coming from Bob Rock, the producer. And uh, Six said uh, he was he'd been taking lessons for for a few years, and that was back in '89. So, and I know he, uh, I saw some uh, recent video. He was actually t- said he was taking guitar lessons too. But anyway, I so yeah. So back then, yeah, yeah, I'd agree with you. Here's yeah, a- I can't say I've I've heard. I'm not saying he's not a great bass player. I just haven't heard it yet. And sometimes, you know, again, at Motley Crue at their worst, seem seemed kind of goofy to me a little bit. But, you know, over time, you know, they got some great songs. Wild Side, Too Young to Fall in Love, Home Sweet Home, Girls, 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 Kickstart My Heart. Those are all great songs. But I also have the feel that I think sometimes they have some songs that just kind of don't do it for me, like Shout at the Devil. And- oh, I love Shout at the Shout at the Devil! <laughs> you in the night, you the blood stain on the stage. Oh, and the lyrics are cool, too. And it's got a great riff. Boom, boom, blah, nice and Luddite for all the punters out there. It's, all, it's really almost a Ted Nugent riff. Uh, just, I don't know, just didn't do it for me. Too Fast for Love, Helter Skelter, too Smoking fast, in the Boys too Room. Too Fast for Love! Uh, oh, it's phenomenal. Uh, da, 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 but, but that's, da, that's da, my da, take. Da, my <laughs> yeah, that's just my opinion on whether I like it or not. I would say that they are a great band when you look at their longevity and their their success. And what, what's your take on them? Well, the big controversy right now is like Nikki Six said, it was in Blabbermouth or something like that. And said, they asked him, what was it like to play the bass on the, on the early stuff or what were the sessions like? And, he, and his response, I think this is the first time anybody heard it, he said, I don't think I really played any bass on the early Motley Crue records, Ooh. which means that the producer didn't like it and they took it off. And they had um, my theory is and, and Greg Leon says that he went to a session and saw this guy, John Purdell, 
is this is my theory of who it was. And he, Greg Leon will not say. He says, I won't say to who it is, but I went in there and he saw the guy playing the bass. And he's all like, what are you doing here? And uh, he said, oh, I'm playing bass on the new Motley Crue record. That was in the uh, a very recent Full in Bloom as of uh, this is coming out. I, I think it came out about three months ago. Uh, he was talking to Greg Leon about that. So my and Greg won't say who it is. My theory is it's John Purdell who also sang backing vocals on Wild Side and Girls, Girls, Girls. Interesting. Did not know that. You know what Carson would say? I did not know that. Weird, weird, wild. That's some weird, wild, weird, wild. <laughs> You're correct, sir. <laughs> So what do you think, P.E.? Great or not so great? Yeah, I mean, I have to say great. If I'm talking to Motley Crue as a package, I would say, of course, great. Do, do some of their songs not do it for me? Do are some of their band members not my optimal uh, musician level that I'd like to see? Yeah, but, you know, you look at the whole package, of course, Motley Crue, great band. Motley Crue, brilliant. I'm going to say uh, great, of course. Uh, yeah, I'm a big Motley fan. And uh, don't forget to share our videos. And we love the comments. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. This is Jet. Hey, P.E., are you doing this for clapping? Oh, I'm not doing this for, for clapping. Is John Wayne doing this for clapping? Oh Christ! I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to talk for for clapping. So uh, yeah, this is Jet signing off with the professor and rock and roll. Rock and roll. <laughs>